Hey guys, welcome to another video. I hope everybody is doing okay today. This is Alan Rahir saying hello to all of you. And this time, as you see the title, today is my day number 10 on Exploring Niche. I'm so excited. I've been living, oh my God, living a dream. Uh, been experiencing all these beautiful fragrances. And I just came across with this house I've been talking about these uh, past videos, which is uh, Imaginary Outdoors. What a beautiful fragrances what a quality they have to it and what a cheap they are for being a, a niche fragrance because nothing nothing comparable to the designer like i said like i've been talking about when the designer is gone in your skin some of the some of them they left that trace like a ugly trace it doesn't even it's not even pleasant no more that 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 type of feel, type of scent you you got into your skin left after the designer fragrance are gone. I've been experiencing that and oh my god with this uh, imaginary, imaginary outdoors fragrances it's been just total different thing. The notes stay there, still there even though they get close to your skin you smell it you're still picking up some notes out of them. Uh, today like as you see I'm gonna give my opinion, my first impression and personal, personal thoughts on balls, balls blood. I have to say, it doesn't mean uh, you will think the same about this fragrance, or you, or the fragrance works with you in the same way, the same way as it did to me today. But uh, balls blood by Imaginary Outdoors is considered a woody aromatic fragrance, launched in 2012, created. But you already know the whole line is being created by Josh Meyer. Notes on this one, top notes, you have uh, patchouli, rose, uh, costus root, tobacco, uh, black musk, and boss blood. Uh, well, I didn't see any top notes, list, or middle notes. They just give you the information on Fragantica. There's where I got the information from. And actually, the notes are very important to know them because you know what you're smelling, right? But the fact of how the fragrance in your skin, that's what all matters. How the fragrance work in your skin. What you're feeling, how uh, well get mixed with your uh, chemistry of your body. And patchouli and rose at the top all the way strong just like pretty much I can say it in your face because when I apply it I came across to my wife and she goes like what is that <laughs> she seems like didn't like it at all or not too much but I, 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 I can say I could feel like she goes like what are you smelling <laughs> then a uh, projection great projection I could say it, today in my work everybody was noticed uh, was noticing what I was wearing and some of them they asked because they got intrigued about what kind of fragrance what it was because they said uh, it felt like a little mature fragrance like uh, an uh, old school type of scent of fragrance you know and but some of them they said they like it longevity I could say to me in my in, in my skin this one worked pretty well today because uh, I was feeling it uh, very strong even though after like eight hours on my work. You know, like I said in my first video, I work a lot of crazy hours, maybe 12 to 14 hours because of the kind of job I have to do. Later on, I'm going to talk to you about a little bit me, uh, what I do for a living or what I do to buy all my fragrances. Uh, but well, uh, patchouli, a little bit salty vibe to it is what I get. I'm going to apply a little bit to enjoy the opening right here you see that <sighs> yeah like I said a little bit salty back to it maybe because of the patchouli mix with the rose the rose is a little bit strong I could see this were more in the night fall and winter than other time of the year during the day, I don't think it will be uh, good for you. If, well, especially now with uh, because it's hot. Occasions, formal and date, I could see this one, but not the first date because you will knock the girl out with this one because it's it's kind of strong. To me, it's kind of strong. Edges story enough because it has that uh, kind of classic scent vibe or turn to it at the very opening. But then, uh, 
the bull's blood, I have never smelled bull's blood. I have smelled my blood before, but I don't like it at all how it smells. But maybe the bull's blood note on this one, which is listed, makes it feel real nice. I like it because, like I said, I can feel a little bit the tobacco, musk, kind of musky type of scent. And in the dry down, which I have a little bit here, I barely can pick it up, uh, like the musk rose in the back, but not that strong as the beginning. So, but definitely, Imaginary Outdoors is a house you have to taste. It's a house you have to try because it has quality 100%. So I recommend you guys, if you like that type of scent, like it's a classic scent, but it's quality 100%, like I got on this one, post blood will be for you. I just love the the way the rose smell. It's strong. It reminds me that rose I got from Washington Square, but this one is stronger, way stronger, way stronger. Not that soft as a uh, Washington Square give me the rose. You remember I told to you, and this is not feminine, not feminine at all. I can see a woman wearing this because it's very strong. It's very strong fragrance. And the rose is just like more uh to more like for a man manly i can say it, more manly than uh feminine but yeah definitely imaginary outdoors will be part of my collection of Nietzsche houses when i as soon as i jump of them i think i might gonna try uh to buy me some bottles of imaginary outdoors it's just a real nice uh it makes you feel strong manly and I loved it. I loved it even though it has the rose on it. Like I said, it's not like feminine rose. It's uh it's I can I I can say it's sophisticated rose because it doesn't have that uh like uh sophisticated back to it. To me, like I said, in my taste, in my nose, it's more classic. It's more like classic, like this is stronger fragrance you wear is because of the mix of the patchouli, of course. But definitely Definitely quality, quality to it, all way. Uh, my some of my co-workers didn't enjoy it because, uh, like I said, to me, uh, imaginary outdoors has kind of a mystery on their fragrances. You know, I taste already uh, the soft long, which I like it. Uh, uh, the other one it was uh, Cape Hertic. I like how that one smells on me. Definitely, that one will be part of my collection. And tomorrow, hopefully, uh, I'm gonna try to uh, taste uh, the Cobra and the Canary. So this is this is all for today on my take on exploring niche for day number ten, Boss Blood. Guys, definitely you must try it. I mean, if you like uh, rose-based fragrances, I don't know if it's rose-based, but if you have, if you like rose in your fragrances, mix with the patchouli and give you that uh, like a woody type of scent, but very strong with the rose, definitely this one is for you. So try it, sample it. You can look uh, uh, on the Imaginary Autos uh, website. Also, some uh, I see some uh, samples for sale on Amazon or eBay. Or go on Facebook and look for Josh Meyer. He will send you the samples. Well, this, I got them from there. I didn't get them from there. You know, I got all my samples and all my niche experience from Dan Mish. And again, thank you, Dan, for that. I've been having a lot of fun, as you can see. So, Boss Blood, definitely one of the most tried. Like I said, I, I my taste is more for sweet and woody fragrances or spicy fragrances but this one it has captured my attention real uh, big time big time because of the quality like i said and for 85 bucks yeah i mean definitely go and try it so guys this is uh my day number 10 i really appreciate you stay tuned if you haven't subscribed subscribe comment below give me thumbs up comment something if i'm doing something wrong or something great let me know. I will really appreciate that. I open to suggestions and opinions. So guys, this is Alan right here. Wishing you have a great day or night, whatever. See you tomorrow with another video. Stay tuned.